Starting in Borneo, where photographer Michael Gordon spotted a mother Sunda clouded leopard and her two cubs. These elusive cats are rarely seen and difficult to study, and the sighting is great news. Deforestation affects species worldwide, and intel from satellite data suggests the problem is growing in the tropics. Looking at tree cover changes over an 11 year period, larger clearings were seen in most of South America and Southeast Asia. Brazil showed promising regrowth, and experts hope their well enforced policy changes can be applied to other countries. In another unexpected sighting, a lobster showed up in Canada with a Pepsi mark on its claw. Some suspect the lobster's claw grew around part of a can after becoming entangled when it was young. Others believe it's part of a box. This is just one example of how our trash continues to affect marine life. Staying in the ocean, new research shows that whales that have been entangled in fishing gear harbor sky-high levels of stress hormones. For endangered North Atlantic right whales, these hormones show up even in living whales and can hinder reproductive success and overall health. And after years of planning, Canada established its largest marine conservation area to date. This 110,000 km stretch of ocean includes Lancaster Sound, a nursery for beluga whales and narwhals. Local Inuit communities have pushed for the new protections, which will ban commercial fishing, deep sea mining, and oil and gas activity in the region. From sea to sky, a new experimental study suggests that a common insecticide may cause migrating songbirds to become disoriented. After exposure, birds can also suffer dramatic weight loss. The study analyzed imidacloprid in white-crowned sparrows, which move throughout America. Bats need to process over 120 clicks per second, and that echolocating prowess has led to unique brain activity. According to a new study, a part of the brain typically associated with vision helps bats use sound to track where things are in relation to their bodies. In microbe news, a trio of protists discovered in the guts of termites have been named after members from the rock band Rush. The microbes help termites digest compounds found in woody plants. Speaking of discoveries, the deepest dwelling fish finally got its official scientific description. The Mariana snailfish lives at depths up to 8,000 meters or 26,200 feet along the Mariana Trench. And an incredible collection of pterosaur eggs was discovered in China. Over 200 eggs from these ancient flying reptiles were found, a rare feat as the eggs' thin shells don't fossilize well. In fact, the first pterosaur eggs were only discovered in 2004. Rounding off with a treetop tumble. An African wildcat was seen jumping for its life to escape the hungry jaws of a caracal. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.